what's happening guys EJ John coming at you so I'm back uh, as you guys saw my live stream last night uh, I was gonna make an update video today so we're just gonna jump right into it got the car right here behind me and got a lot of shit going on right now I took about a week break um, I had a lot of content and just got overwhelming on what to upload and um, you know, I had a lot of stuff on my mind, and I just had to take a break from YouTube for a little bit and kind of fix some stuff on the car, you know, whatever. But we got a lot of stuff done, and um, that's what we're going to go over today. So, first things first, it's all clean in here. I did a lot of cleaning, and I had this whole car apart earlier this week and had to fix a bunch of shit. So, we got rid of the engine wine completely gone. Everything that related to the engine wine is all gone and I'll show you guys that here right now and let's shut the door listen to that no more wine took a lot of work and a lot of thinking to really get rid of it but it's gone and did a lot of sq tuning now so now that i have no wine i can actually enjoy my music at normal listening levels and it sounds amazing so i'm amazed it's been a long time since i've had uh, perfect uh, door speakers like this so the hiss is very minimal and i love it so Gonna start doing a lot of SQ stuff on it. Already got most of it done. And just some little tweaking here and there. It's doing the trick. So other than that, moving on to the next thing. This door speaker right here, I just replaced uh, two days ago. That's the one where the dust cap, this ain't the speaker, but the other one's in the, in the house. This is the one where the dust cap was literally hanging off by a little bit right here. When the base hit it, it would just flop. I took that out put in my replacement and I just fixed that one so now I have another spare good to go and I think the next one to go is probably going to be this one right here because there's a little gap lifting up on the right side but slowly and surely we're getting them all fixed and there's actually some good ones in here that I think will never have to be fixed so save me some time but yeah so I'm gonna play some SQ tunes for you guys and I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up but we'll try <laughs> oh shit. All you niggas swear you with the fuck shit. Tell it's time to get bucked. A lot of talk, no nuts. It ain't how I was right. Sit packs, catch fame. Stay on the move or catch strays. Stab on the go. Money get low. It's cool. Bro, I ain't afraid of that. Cause if I made a meal one time, shit. There's no question I can make it back. That's on the game. Brody, what up? Drunk laughing at the niggas we cut And how they out here politicking see. But ain't nobody but they mama listen That's on the game It's hot out here Seem like everybody getting shot out here Ex bitch stocking my post She what you looking for a shout out here Get love They love my sauce The way I say R They love my talk So the doors sound absolutely phenomenal right now And I just did the uh I did, I put the mic in here and let it do its thing, and it sounds amazing. I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but all of my subs are back in. Got all six subs back, you know, they look normal, but I already said we were doing the custom control toes, and these are them here. The outside looks no different than any of the other ones, but what's behind here is the biggest thing. We have the three medium spiders on each triple lead wires and the american coil and uh these bitches are stiff as you can see i'm using my elbow here to kind of give me some more leverage and they're just not moving at all they're pretty much fully broke in now so they sound a lot a lot tighter and punchier on the high notes and the lows i can play down to 22 now with full control and it just 
made an overall improvement in every aspect possible. I love it. So we're still at 0.35 and it's doing good. I'm holding 13 volts at 0.35 when running at full tilt and um, everything seems to be good. But moving on under the hood. So everything looks pretty traditional and the same under here, but that. I don't know if you can see that very well, but yes, that's not my singer. That's my factory alternator. I had to put that back in one day I was driving. My singer just started smoking up real bad and it was smelling and I had to pull over and unplug it. And I don't know what happened, but the rectifier just kind of, one of the diodes blew up and it got shit all over the alternator and it was beat red and it was real hot and it just wouldn't charge right. So took it out, took it apart and um, I'll actually post a picture up right here of what happened and you can see it's pretty charred and disgusting so sent that back he should be getting it today and I should be having it back maybe uh, next week hopefully but yeah it, I just been having issues with that there's just a lot of strain with these lithiums running on one alt and I was doing demo after demo and it just was getting super hot so I'm thinking we're gonna put it back in, see how it does, but if it gets real hot again, we might install a blower or something down there to kind of blow more air its way. They're supposed to be self-cooling when they're spinning, but when you got all this heat nearby, it's kind of hard to do. And for the Snapchat fam, you guys have already seen this, but here's something new I have done. I blacked out my headlights, the trim around it. I kept the middle chrome, so I still have some reflection for my HIDs. And I did the other one too. They're already getting hazy again, but I don't fucking know. So what happened was uh, this headlight right here had a lot of water in it and we had to take it out. It was, this is the second time we got water in it. Oh my God, it's raining. Sunny showers. Rain has stopped. So back to what I was saying, the passenger, uh, passenger side got a lot of water in it twice already. And this time it was way more than the first time. So I took everything, I stripped the headlights apart. I painted that black and I sealed it off a little bit better. And this one seems to be doing excellent. There's just a little bit of haze on the outside from last time, but uh, it'll it start to buff out over time. And um, this one over here, it's just, I don't know what's wrong with it. It's just getting like a fog, not even like a fog. It almost looks like I'm blowing my hot breath into there and it's just fogging up but I put a rag on it and it didn't wipe off so I'm not sure what it is. I'm starting to get used to the look a little bit. It kind of looks weird because I didn't do the center part but I kind of just want to do my own little custom retrofit to kind of match with all my black decals. And I was actually thinking of maybe removing all the decals off the car. Maybe keep the ones on the front windshield but like all the ones on the side here and on the back. I was thinking of maybe removing all of them and just, you know, seeing how it looks again because it's been a long time since I've had like a perfect clean car and I was kind of want to do like, make it look almost like a show car. Get rid of all the decals, maybe do some wheels on it and start doing other stuff like that. I ordered a ton of LED bulbs because my reverse lights went out and I had some tiny little spare LED bulbs but those are meant for like the license plate. And I actually haven't had license plate bulbs in years. So I didn't really notice till the other day I was driving down the street and I saw like a similar, similar car like this. And I think it might even be like a focus hatch or something. And I noticed his tail light was lit up real bright with LED bulbs. I was like, oh, wait a second. I was like, I don't have any LED bulbs. I don't remember seeing mine a long time. So that's another thing on the list. When those get here, we'll go ahead and put them in. I just cleaned this in. I already got Looks like, I don't know, I don't even want to know. The back is all the same, nothing really changed back here, just same old stuff, just cleaning. I showed you guys this yet, I repainted this to kind of give it more of like a stealth look, and it actually came out really well. I did the same matte black I did on the headlights, and the only thing different back here is I just re-ran some wires just so they're added away and stuff, and uh, kind of help out with the engine wine, and as you can see, it helped out a lot. Glad my headlights don't look like this. Still haven't trimmed the batteries off yet, but we're gonna do that probably 
next week or so and I want to do the back soon and once we get this all in and we get these trimmed off it'll be completely completely done for a long time one last thing I actually had an issue with my USB on my ADPRS as you guys know I have it mounted down there next to my phone charger and as you see in this one video that I posted the other day uh, my USB disconnected. I was playing the car and all of a sudden it just disconnected and ever since then it just kept doing it I would turn the bass up just a tiny bit and it would pop off and I'd have to unplug the USB and plug it back in so I put in a new extension cable that I had in here a couple years ago and it did the same thing so I reached back I put the USB directly in it was fine I then ran the new USB cable plugged it in and it kept doing it so I reached back before meet one day and switched the USB ports from USB 1 to 2 and it's fine now so something must be loose and I think one day I'm gonna take this out and tape that USB directly to the radio so there's no pulling it out or no wobbling around but other than that guys nothing more than just some daily maintenance and that's pretty much all I got so stay tuned for some more videos got a lot of stuff coming up especially getting that alternator back in and trimming everything off but other than that I just wanted to kind of keep you guys up to date and I think I might have some more videos coming your way I hope you guys enjoy this video EJ John signing out and I'll catch you guys next time Man, that bitch got on some Tim's, yeah, 21. But I put that bitch in Gucci, Gucci, 21. Man, I fought that bitch like she could.